What do you got there, Mr. McCallmy? Something really big with fins on it, John. Is it? It's another king. Isn't that a beauty? That is a beautiful fish. It is a gorgeous catch for sure, but what do you do with 30 pounds of salmon? Some say head for the smoker. Bell Buoy Seafood has been a seaside Oregon fixture since 1946. The people that handle the fish in our smoking operation have been doing it for over 40 years. They, they really know what they're doing. Bell Buoy will smoke up to 300 pounds of salmon twice a week. Today, fresh out of the giant smoker are salmon strips, salmon collars, and fins, plus smoked oysters, and new to me, smoked razor clams. Yes, I am in seafood heaven. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tell you, it's you good. Secret recipe going here. I can't, I can't divulge that. Tell me what it is. <laughs> that is delicious. <laughs> that smoked product was so good, I just had to learn more. So Bell Buoy owner Trent Hartle and longtime seafood chef Steve Fick teamed up in the kitchen. They're sharing salmon secrets with new recipes centered on fresh and abundant Oregon coho salmon. This year we had you know, a forecast of uh, 1.3 to 1.5 million coho to the mouth of the Columbia, and that's largely due to good in-river survival as well as good um, early life history survival once they hit the, the ocean. Trent's recipe number one is stuffed manicotti pasta. He mixes smoked coho salmon, ricotta cheese, lemon zest, garlic, salt, and pepper to taste. He preps a cream sauce and pops the salmon pasta dish, then into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And when it's done... That crunch is a good kind of contrast with the soft pasta. He tops it all with fresh Dungeness crab. Meanwhile, Steve has his hands full, stuffing cremini mushrooms with a smoked salmon mix, and tops each with fresh cheese, then onto a barbecue to heat it all through. Then it's time for something easy with smoked salmon leftovers, salmon tacos. Veggies galore of all sort and a mix of coleslaw and sour cream. That's a good complimentary way of utilizing the rest of your fish. Finally, Trent surprises us all with a fourth salmon option, Dijon mustard and mayo coating, followed by panko and chopped dill on top of a fresh coho filet. It's kind of a, a pungent flavor, and the salmon has some fatness to it. That oil and the pungent just play well. The dining table is filled, but it doesn't last long as guest tasters line up to sample. So delicious. <laughs> Everything was, we have the best chefs ever. It is a wonderful salmon feast, and it's one you can try at home. That's one thing about cooking. You can do all kinds of fun things, you know, and I think people get too wrapped up with what they're supposed to do. Do it tastes good, yeah. and we're trying to do some different things with, with smoked salmon today other than just eating a piece of smoked salmon. With getaway photographer Jeff Gassner, Grant McComey, KGW.